Camera is rolling. Uh, hello everyone and uh, welcome back to Sweden. Uh, one quick look out the window and it's um, uh, early autumn in Sweden. Uh, uh, but uh, enough with, uh, with that. Um, I have been working uh, for the dollar, uh, for the buck, for the man, I don't know what to, to say, all summer, so I haven't got the time to play uh, enough with, uh, with this. Um, but uh, I have made some, uh, some new, new things here, I'm going to show you my stator magnet. It's made out of uh, uh, several magnets, and uh, this here is the north side, and uh, the inside of every magnet is uh, obviously the south. So it go goes from north to south on the back, and I have some uh, marking here uh, to to be able to show you everything. And uh, likewise, underneath there is uh, marking. So I'm going to adjust it a little bit here. Um, and this is not a breast implant; it's a magnifying glass uh, from an old uh, dioptikon, I think it's called. In, in Sweden, we call the dioptikon anyway. Um, and my rotor magnets are made out of. Uh, these small magnets and uh, as I recall they are all facing, I can check this uh, this one is marked with an N which means north so uh, the north is facing inwards in, in, in not ah, you got the picture um, what I have um, made here is uh, if we look above here, uh, the north is here and the south is there. And uh, <coughs> what I uh, found with uh, Milo's, uh, the Stonehenge uh, replica, was that he wasn't just working on on the on the north side of the of the field, but in fact he was on both north and south, a little bit on the south and a little bit more on the north, something like this and uh, um, I've tr made uh, some tries here and uh, but I haven't tried everything but if we put it in there and let it go it uh, it, it, it wants to go back but uh, we adjust this a little bit. Perhaps it all will uh, tip over here, but uh, uh, we'll check it in there. And that is not much of a weight. It's uh, lead for my. This is a fun, fun piece of uh, thing here. I have an old uh, black powder rifle. It's mean. It uh, throws away uh, bullets weighing uh, 33 grams in uh, uh, yeah, gram, uh, 18 millimeters uh, hole in it. Um, so, um, well, back to this. Um, as you can see, perhaps it will lift it up. I hope this will. No, it. Uh, I'm going to uh, try to screw this down so it won't lift up. But uh, what I'm uh, meaning here is if, just like Milo's, uh, he had a very close almost so the stator and the rotor touched each other and uh, by uh, not having uh, it, uh, this is very interesting uh, too interesting to be left without 
anything. So I uh, hope there is people out there uh, working, still working on this, like me. Uh, even though I haven't got uh, the time I was unemployed uh, in, in the springtime. So uh, I had uh, the whole days to, uh, to, to play with this. And uh, due to that much shury of time, I uh, was able to uh, come in really close with magnets and uh, um, I have tried, uh, should I say, to uh, put magnets all around but then this disc becomes too heavy for that stator to move. So uh, what I'm um, about to do here is I have another disc with a big hole in the middle so uh, that I can uh, swap the stator and the rotor uh, rotor rotor and the stator magnet around so I will put the, this on this and uh, counterweight and see what it it does uh, here's my little sterling engine and uh, uh, well, that was that was all. Um, sorry about uh, that. I don't have a camera stand and uh, don't know how to zoom in and zoom out. I just lean in and lean out, uh, as usual. Well, Sweden out. Hello and goodbye.